enemies. We don't like them. But perhaps the worst type of enemy is the one we don't know exists, or the one we forgot about. I'm here today to tell you about your worst enemy. His name is Satan. Created perfectly, according to Ezekiel 28 verse 12, he was the seal of perfection. This means that God used his infinite mind and came up with the best angel he could possibly create. Lucifer, light bearer, you bore light until something went wrong. For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the furthest sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high God. What? Negative. And a war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought back. Michael and his angels fought back. Michael and his angels fought back. You're kidding me. Nah. You're kidding me. I don't understand. Why didn't God destroy the dragon since he created it? Bro, you gotta understand how crazy, how unwise it would have been for God to destroy Satan. You see, the angels, all they ever saw was perfection. They never saw sin. So if Satan is accusing God, saying that he was wrong, and then God just turned around and, and destroyed him, it would have looked like God was threatened or something. So God had to let Satan's plan be carried forward all the way to the end so that the angels could see what Satan's plans were really made of, bro. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And the Lord God commanded the man saying, of every tree of the garden, you may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. The serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. For God knows that in the day that you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Oh no, 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 you're kidding me. You're telling me that after Satan was cast out of heaven, he came to earth and deceived man concerning the goodness of God's character? Yup, but it gets worse. You see, the wages of sin is death. When you sin, you're supposed to die. Mankind was supposed to die. But look, God had a plan. <laughs> that plan was a man. <laughs> His name was Jesus. Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Here's the thing, guys. You gotta understand that the main reason Jesus came was to show us who God really is. God is love. Remember, Satan was accusing God of being evil. But when God became a man and laid his life down on your behalf and was raised on the first day, he proved all of Satan's accusation to be 100% wrong. So the dragon was enraged with the woman and went off to make war with the rest of her children who keep the commandments of God and hold the testimony of Jesus. Listen guys, the devil doesn't like you. Satan is not your friend. We're not dealing with some guy with a pitchfork. This is a fallen angel who is bent against the character of God in your life. Listen, guys, this is not a joke. It's time that we wake up, turn off the TV, turn off the screens. Guys, get to know God. I'm sorry to be yelling, but understand that the world is ending. Pick a side and go.